just need one moment to regain my breath. Oh. That was just the warm up. Time to go camping. I've planned this hiking trip because I need to get better at landscape painting, but uh, I'm uh, really terrified because at the end of the day, I hate hiking. I hate it. What am I doing? Joel is taking literally forever. I have no idea what he's doing, but we've been here for almost 10 minutes. He said he was just getting an iPad and it doesn't take 15 minutes to just get an iPad. I got a few camping things. Mitts for cooking over a fire, an axe, some camping clothes. Love this bag. You gotta carry your painting stuff. How are you expecting to do that? Well, like I said, he usually knows more about this than I do. It just seems like a lot. Are you gonna just carry your painting stuff in your arms up a mountain? No, I have like my, my little case. Okay, I think I'm ready to hit the road. Yeah. Rebecca, oh, she's not. When you went to the camper, we'll use these words this week when we were planning our trip. She said, and I quote, I hate hiking. So what I really, really want for this trip is to really just find ways to make sure she has a really great time. I'm going to find some peak in the mountains. I'm going to press myself. I'm going to push forward. And here's the big catch. Joel loves the outdoors so much so that I, uh, I feel like I need to push myself. We're going on a hike and an art adventure. It's like the first hiking trip in uh, Canada that we have done this year. Oh good, it's warm. I was so afraid it'd be cold out here, but it's actually really warm. I'm just gonna carry that mask thing for me. So that you have an enjoyable time hiking. Why, are you afraid I'm not gonna have an enjoyable time hiking? Yes, considering what you said about hiking this morning. What did you say about hiking? It's not my jam. I think your words were a little bit stronger than that. I hate. Oh. Hiking is my second love next to you. I actually know that I need to do more things that he enjoys because at the end of the day, Joel's a very giving person. He will always go out of his way to like do something for me. Ready to hike? Let's do it. In a very roundabout sort of way, this is my gift back to Joel. Babe, we're not gonna need bear spray, are we? Nope. It's not like we're gonna find any bears along the trail and be like, oh no, we should be okay, right? When you're in the woods with Joel, you're safe as a bear in a cave. Well, I don't really know what that means. Do I feel a little bit guilty that Joel's carrying this massive pack? Yes, yes, I do feel a tad bit bad. I'm also really terrified because, ah, uh, girl, I die on the hiking trips. Uh, feel pretty wiped already. Oh, what a life. How long does a sea park go for? Oh my gosh. I can't believe people do this for fun. Oh. I am hiking. You say to make lots of noise when you're on a trail because of bears. Yeah, scares them away or something. I've heard. I don't want no bears to follow me. No, no. Because I am not Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my word. You always do this for fun? You're not even breaking a sweat. Because I'm a mountain man. I can do anything. I can do anything. If I brought my mind to it. Oh, there's steps. There's stairs up ahead. Just one more hour of the steep. One more hour. That was just the warm up. Just need one moment to regain my breath. That seems to like slip away. I don't think my breath is even part of my body anymore. Yeah, that's the sweet part. We're all done. Thank the Lord. I would be lying if I said that the views were not breathtaking. They absolutely were. The hike, it, it was worth it. At the end of the day, I feel absolutely proud of myself because you know what? I set a goal out and I did it. That is worth everything. Babe, I know that hike was really hard for you. Are you doing okay? After 
Whew. Carrying that massive this amount. This truck didn't make it up here. <laughs> yeah, you sure were breaking the sweat. I was inspired to paint the nature, which is what I was hoping for. Yay, victory. See a little bit of water, back of the canvas. If your canvas is too stretched, you'll just tighten it right up. How are you feeling about it so far? I am not gonna lie. Um, there's a lot of skill involved in this that I don't have. Baby, that's stunning. What did you just find on yourself? A tick. See that right there? Okay, that's okay. a... Uh, something I didn't think I'd have to worry about. Should put that on TikTok. <laughs> now, some of you may recognize this place from a few weeks ago, where there may or may not have been a Sasquatch sighting right there. Because a couple weeks ago, I was shooting a film here, and I got to hang off a cliff. Click right here if you want to watch that episode of the film shoot in the Rocky Mountains. My whole plan for this weekend is to just try to be as positive as possible. Because I know that positivity, at the end of the day, can change one's entire viewpoint. Look at that! I even have more energy! I have enough energy to go hiking down the mountain again! At least it's going downhill, not uphill. It'll feel like a run. It'll feel like a sprint. That Ouch. Don't pull something! Alright. Back down the trail we go. I made it back. I see purple. It's our home. How are you feeling? I'm tired. It feels good to say, I'm gonna do something this day, and then you do it, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a good hike. That feels sweaty. Oh, it smells like cottage cheese in here now. Like it stinks. We are both sweaty and smelly, stinky people. Oh, is it your feet, babe? No, my feet don't stink. It's your feet. Well, got a lot of mirror out. Oh. That's more than feet. Ben is so nice and warm. So excited for fun! There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground Far from a worries and troubling sound When I go there to be by myself only me Nothing more satisfying than cooking your own meal on a fire. No one can guess what I came there to see. This has been such an awesome day. Yeah, why? It's like, really, I'm surprised by how rejuvenated I am. There's a sun in the sky, there's a cloud drifting by. All kinds of birds make you wish you could fly. In the distance I see someone waving at me I hope that it's you, but who else could it be? Time to eat! Alright! Mmm! Mmm! Hallelujah! Oh yeah! Yeah, it's worth it! Yeah, it's good! Let me know, what's your favorite campfire meal to cook? The best way to end the day, babe. Out for a little morning jog. Exactly what I needed. And I think there's lots of discussion right now about the hustle culture. And I think that it can be unhealthy if you don't take time to rest and recharge. I think that's one of the reasons why we wanted to pursue van life as a couple. A big thing for us is traveling, it's having adventures together, being spontaneous together. Going on adventures can be super expensive and as artists we don't have a lot of disposable income so 
van life was the perfect option to incorporate all those elements of being mobile, being spontaneous, um, living super cheap, but also being able to travel, being able to go camping when we have a little, a little nugget of time. <laughs> we just have one night together this week. That's my challenge for you this week. Take time to rejuvenate the soul. Even if it's just like 10 minutes to take a walk in a park, or if it's a weekend backpacking adventure, what are some ways or steps in your life you could take to make that happen more in your life? I'd love if you have stories <laughs> about that, if you could share them with us. Well, I gotta go back and make some coffee for my baby. And baby, I have something for you. <gasps> There are just some jobs that are just too gross. Basically, that's how you prep it. Put a bag over the top of it, then you flip it, get all the stuff out. Now this is coconut core. It's dried. All we gotta do is put some water in it, and this will be enough for that toilet. It will fill it up. And then you add in a new compost. Just so you know, actually the compost in there is not that gross barely stinks, and it's quite nice to have for emergencies. I mean, I don't try to use it all the time because, you know, you can go number two indoors for the most part, but um, when you need it in a quick fix, it's good to have. Bex is over changing out a composting toilet. I'm having fun cooking our brunch on the fire. My world famous campfire jalapeno cheddar biscuits and some leftover skewers from last night's supper. Mm. I am not ready for some lunch. Ooh. Okay. Time to dig in. Thank you for making some breakfast, babe. Mm. Yeah? Oh yeah, that's top notch. That was a delightful trip. Oh, I'm so tired now, though. I feel rejuvenated, Anna. I'm ready to conquer the world. They're just two different kinds of people, okay? Now that's what we call a dump station. Yes. That's a drinking water. Oh man, that water was so cold. I could have just jumped right into it and had a nice water fight. And got splashed right into that little hole of sewer. One can argue that you can always learn from going out of your comfort zone and taking a risk. And I have to admit, I actually did learn a lot about myself. I learned that, you know what, as long as I have all the necessities of a comfortable home, I actually don't really mind camping. And as long as I don't have to break my legs over, you know, like a four or ten hour long hike, I can also enjoy hiking. It just, you know, you know. Baby steps here, okay? Okay, baby steps. You know, I think so much about marriage is like full-on compromise, and I have to admit that having the modern amenities right there for me after doing a hike is like a huge tick in the compromise scale for Joel's and my relationship. For us, van life is worth it, and I am definitely not saying that every single couple should live van life. Just maybe think about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and check back next week for our next adventure. That was frozen. If you want to come on with me back onto another movie set. Roll camera. Next time. Play. Play.